Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mackie McCandlish, drafting a 8-4 M13 style. Opening up some planes walking. Uh, kind of like Searing Spear, but <laughs> um, I guess on the bright side, there's not that much great white here. Great white sharks. Hmm, Searing Spear. My tendency is to take the Mythic Rare over the Common, just because how often you get to play with the Mythic Rare versus the Common. So, I ain't like this is for reals. Reals, reals. Uh, we probably should be on the lookout for not much. Maybe a green dude, too, too. Eh, not the most exciting white to follow up with. Here we are spying the Welkin Turn. The Servant. This thing isn't Welkin Turn quality. I mean, it's cut white quality, which is nice. Although, this is the only blue card, which makes me think somebody took the other blue card. Which makes me think this is the only blue card we're getting. Which kind of sucks. Do we cut white so we can play our Ajani over the superior card? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You can't really be married to your first pick. Even if you do want to play it. Successful pick completed. Here it's switcheroo. And we're spying some white we might get, possibly. Now blue's pretty cut. Uh, there's some white. There's. It's not really a great pack. Uh, there's a lion. There's a falcon. Primal clay. I like primal clay as an early pick when you don't really know what's going on yet. This guy doesn't seem to get much love. It's pretty huge. Rewind. Seems like the red is the best stuff we're seeing. Hmm. Do I cut the crappy white card instead of this sem somewhat better red card? Yeah, that requires a certain combination of factors. Yeah, I think... See, the white is just not coming, so I'd rather be in a color that is available. Um happy taking decent removal over this and this although he is nice with the flunkies yeah I like trying to slag fond memories of slagging people not really thrilled but negate could come in handy got wits got arsonist don't think Wits is going to play out well in draft. This guy's probably the best pick. And we might not play red, so... It's not bad either. 2-2 two -two with upside. Versus 2-2 two -two that's way more expensive with different upside. So, I guess maybe the next pack will inform our choice, because I think the blue was either weak or not that open, whichever way you want to put it. Don't click by accident. Stupid mouse. Uh, eh. Might still be white, you never know. Uh, not really that exciting. <laughs> Which of my colors am I? That's where I send a strong signal. 
I like the blue and the white, to be honest. Sure, let's cut the white in a meaningless way. Hmm. It's playable at this point. Wow, Ranger's Path went pretty late. Can't get away from index. So, looking blue white, but if it was good enough red, I could potentially be better than Switcheroo, but Switcheroo is pretty damn good. I'm definitely not going green for that. Got the Phantasm, got the, uh, <laughs> the Oblivion Ring. <laughs> Send them to oblivion. Alright, so that's not a tough one. There's a mind sculpt and a phantasm, but they're in the same pack, so that kind of blows. Huh. Somebody else had a harder decision. Ha ha ha. Rain of Blades. Some dude that makes people lose cards. Diabolic color I'm not in. Unsummon. This is not an exciting pack. Um, that tends to not work that well, except unless they've got a bunch of Welkin turns. Because if it's against the Exalted deck, they just send one big dude in and it sucks. This would potentially go with the blue phantasm thing it's, it feels like it's either this or unsummon because the red's not good I mean this pack just sucks uh, let's do this I'm not excited about this guy I'm just not excited about this pack I don't have things that I want to play over and over again for unsummon to be good so I can get my guy back after switcherooing No, it was just not that exciting. It looks like pacifism to me. I wouldn't mind picking that up, but I don't think I'm going to get it. <laughs> you got the provocateur. Uh, 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 uh. Probably take the crown. Ah, mm. That would be nice, but I don't think I'm going to get it because it's not going to be one of the four remaining cards later. Benediction versus Squire. I think it's obviously Squire, right? Squire can always do something and does similar things and flies over people, so doesn't need the other thing. Tricks of the trade do things. Wow. Can I just take this pack home with me? You can keep the Mind Claw, Prey Upon, but give me the Fog Bank, the Knight, the Scroll Thief, I'll be take the stupid Protector. Ugh, that sucks. Hmm, decisions. Decisions! Um, I'm white-blue, so I don't have the Land finding powers of green. Grrr. Scroll Thief probably wins more games. Attendant Knight is also good. Scroll Thief wins more if he had more things like the ninja. Ninja. ninja enchantment. Ugh. So this was in the first deck I played when I came back to Magic. It was a starter deck. Oh, man. What does this deck want to do to win? It doesn't know. I'd rather go this way. Call me crazy. Do I have ways to gain life? He's cool, too. I like Scroll Thief, though. I'm a Scroll Thiefer. I'm 
probably looking at hiding the red, I suppose. Here, we'll take this on the off chance that we get some dudes that benefit from it. I'm happy to pick one of these up late. Am I going to have enough masses of creatures where this makes any sense? Seems... Well, no, I might. You never know what you're going to pick up in white. What? I guess nobody likes this card. Tricks of the Trade with my Scroll Thief. I think I'd rather be here, personally. Well, my colors ended up being pretty open. <laughs> Considering I'm, like, don't we have another pack left? And I'm at 22 pretty playables. I mean, there's like some questionable stuff in there, but I'm pretty sure we have another pack left. This is an 8-4. Is this deck a lot worse than I'm giving it credit for? <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's got a water courser in it still. Okay. I can only imagine it's going to get better, though. Go pack! Hmm. In crust. Not that exciting. I guess I guess this is the pack where everybody else's decks get better. In crust over essence scatter. Sure. Not splashing this action, I don't think. Splash black. This is removal, just not quite as good to my colors. It's cheaper. Makes sense. Uh, just when I started to think of myself as black for some reason. So we got the Captain's Call, which goes well with something. The plus one that I'm probably not playing. Divination, which draws us things. I like that. This guy's okay. I think I'm going to get there on creatures. I like upgrading to a divination. Buy more lands, get there. Instants or sorceries, which we are not all in on. Huh. Interesting. I th ugh, I'm not green. Do I have a... He's a good reason to splash a little bit of green. It's a 3-3 three, three for 4, though. I haven't picked up any green that I can remember. Just don't. So I've got that. I've got not enough instants or sorceries to think I'm going to find one. I think I want this guy, because I do have enough that one could t t potentially have been played by the time I do him. Do him all the time. Do I want to negate? No, I already got one. Had that chance to be trying to play green, but I don't think it's wise given what we've got going. Looks like the white is getting wrecked. Drake and Knight. 2 2 first strike versus 2 2 flyer, and this one comes with a free dude. This guy does annoy the crap out of me. These cards are both good. <sighs> yeah, I'm missing the Tolerance invocation, sadly. Somebody took it took it away. Eh, try this guy. Another divination could be good. Unsummon could be good in a pinch. I like having an unsummon in the mix. Don't really have a reason for the evolving wilds. Um, there's a Griffin Protector. Griffin Protector goes well with some of these other things, but it's a little more aggro. Doesn't. Huh. 
guess with all these encrusts and slowing the game down and trying to draw stuff, it doesn't feel like the aggro is where we're at, although it does block well. Mm, I convinced myself. Be nice to have an instant or sorcery to go with him. I think I let myself get a little bit uncertain in terms of if I was being aggro-y or defensive. And then I got a bit of both. Which I guess you could say I have good plans for later or something. I think I'm going to go trick. Ooh, another trick. Um, I think this guy's fine. I'm not going to play that. I'm definitely taking a captain's call here. Another safe passage. Splash black for that guy. Not going to take two safe passages. Alright. Must make deck. Must make deck now. A lot of cheap stuff and then a finisher that I could never afford. I think this guy threw my... If I had stayed away from this card, I probably would have been more consistently on the aggro bent. But then cards like... Uh, this guy confused the issue just a little bit too. Because he wants you to attack with just one dude and be defensive with the other dudes. Flying and double strike wants something big, which I have very little of. Let's see. Some stuff was definitely good. Not sure about this guy, really. You can put him in the not sure pile. This is degrees of not sureness. Not sure about that guy either. So, no one drops. Super cheap. This guy can uh, handle a variety of scenarios. And I got this stuff, I think. Let's see. Surely we have enough instants and sorceries where this guy would make sense. One. It's this one that makes me want to do it the most. Switch some tokens for some awesome dude. And divination's not bad. But I guess that if we were going to play him, we would want their safe passage, but it's not as powerful when they can see it coming. Yeah. Two cards. I should have picked up that unsummon. Foolishness. If I play him, then I think... Yeah, it's not that exciting to get back Show of Valor. Wouldn't have mind getting an Essence Scatter, too. Harbor Bandit. Yeah. Not without any way to get the land. Oh, I'll well, race that shit at instant speed. And there will be no more castles. The funny thing about this deck is if you work with this guy, you could say, hey, you only need 16 lands. Hmm. Amusing. Fourteen creatures.
Captain's Call, Switcheroo, and Archaeomancer. And Divination, and Safe Passage. I guess that's something. It's like... So, well, it's an experiment of sorts, I suppose. We get up to 24 somehow. Hmm. Primal Clay and this dude. I think the Primal Clay is going to be a little worse in general than getting to cast an instant or sorcery again. for every situation except unsummon. They have no like first strike griffin in the set, huh? I think we at least at the very least we have some flexibility depending on what we go up against. Is there something else I should be taking out? Johnny. Probably not. Sure. Seems reasonable. Three blue. It's never gonna happen. The problem is, there's not even a plan for it to happen. <laughs> it's more like, a, in case I flood, I will win somehow. That's the spirit. 